up? It's me, Franny, and today I am back with my trainer, Megan. It's me, Megan. So today's workout video, I feel like it's gonna be a very occurring thing on my channel because I've been working out a lot and I've been into fitness lately. But today's video is all about booty. This is probably a very requested video. Everyone wants to know what I do when I work out. My butt and my legs. Megan also gets a million DMs <laughs> all the time asking, how do you get a bubble butt? How do you get a butt like this? Da -da 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 -da. She's gonna take me through a workout on working your butt out. First of all, I wanna say- Little is, disclaimer. Yeah, a disclaimer. Your butt, it, it has a lot to do with genetics too, right? I feel like you need to explain this. Yeah. I don't even know how to really so, go about this. Your butt does have a lot to do with genetics. Think about where you naturally carry fat on your body. Some people naturally carry mm -hmm. it on their stomach. Some people actually naturally carry it on their legs. I mean, when you first start working out, if you don't have a butt, totally possible to build a butt. But there are people out there who have really shapely hips or really shapely butt naturally just because of genetics. So don't get discouraged if you don't naturally have one, but also recognize that there are people out there who it's just a little bit easier for in terms of where they have their fat stores on their body. I'm gonna be honest with you, I never, I don't think I've really have gone to and said, I wanna grow my butt, like yeah, I've yeah. never, it's just, that's just how I'm like genetically built, but it's possible, it might take a while, it's yeah. not an easy thing. Building a butt takes a long time, you can't build a butt in 30 days, it's not possible. Yeah. It takes a lot of heavy lifting, a lot of food, being in a caloric surplus, and really just working your ass off, but like working it on in that yeah. sense. You guys asked for it, so. We're gonna do it. <laughs> it's our workout for the day. Brandy is going to be doing a five minute warm up on the treadmill, get a little sweat going. And we're gonna do a couple stretches and activation movements. The perfect stretch, um, kind of hard to explain, you'll just see what it looks like. Um, some core activation, anytime you're doing lower body movements, your core needs to be active and braced to keep uh, your lower back safe. We're gonna be doing um, some banded side steps to activate her glutes. And then we're gonna go right into the workout here. So we're gonna be doing heavy hip thrusts, heavy deadlifts, some lateral lunges, some static hold lunges, box jumps, and um, Russian twist toss. That's more so for core, but everything else here is really focused on the glutes, hamstrings, a little bit of quad activation, but mostly posterior chain movements. All of them are gonna be in the 10 to 12 rep range. When you're trying to build your body up, build muscles up, you wanna focus on eight to 12, eight to 15 reps. I want to get into like the deep science of it but that's the rep range that we're gonna be focusing on today we're gonna to do three to four sets of this that's gonna be the workout trust me because we are going heavier here in the beginning and doing a lot of accessory movements Franny is going to be tired oh they have jello legs at the end of this I don't do a lot of heavy heavy weights and when I do I feel like I'm gonna die should be fun fun day like gonna die. <laughs> all right let's get it oh treadmill right yeah, treadmill. Five minutes. Felt like nothing could stop us. Sunsets, remember. Keep this hand planted, but keep it forward. Mm -hmm. Try to line up your foot and your hand so. next to each other. And it's okay. flat. You got it, Tony. <laughs> oh, God, okay. We're just starting. <laughs> Let me reach up. Okay? Just feel that stretch for your hamstring and your hip flexor. Hold it for a little while. There's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. No living in the past. Want your core to be active? especially in uh, deadlifts, because it's going to keep your lower back safe. Anytime you're moving with weight on your upper body, when your lower body's moving, you need to have that core active. You're really good at activating your core. You're just going to wake it up for the purpose of our workout. Dead bugs. You're going to have the weight straight up above you. Hold come up off the mat, crunching your core. Really think about drawing your belly button in, okay? Your lower back should be in contact with the mat the entire time. Shoulders should be lifted up the entire time. Knees come in, and straight out, forward back to your knee. You can hear my knee crack. You go for 10 of these. Okay, and then I'm gonna have you stand up. Break down these four as well. This also kind of wakes up your core, but it's full body, not very squat. Okay, so you should really think about pushing your hips back as the weight comes forward, breathing in deep so your core is nice and braced. There's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. No living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Do 
this two times, okay? Banded side steps. Waking up your glutes, okay? Light little bend in the knee, step out, step in, okay? Keep a slight bit of tension in that band the entire time. Never want it to get loose like this, okay? Should never fall off the feet. Big step. Ten on each side. Stay nice and low. Slight bend in the knee. You know how these feel. My butt already burns watching her do that because I know. I think a common misconception that people have is that when your butt is like burning, like when you feel your glutes really burning, you feel that pump, especially with doing banded stuff like this, because that means that's how you build a butt, but that's the correct exercise to do. This isn't necessarily going to build anything because it's not so much resistance that it's making your muscles adapt in that sense. Just come back to base. This activates it. It wakes it up and it activates it, but these are not butt builders. They're butt weight runners. There's no going back. No going back, there's no going back to your own life. I'm living in the past. Oh. Now we're gonna get into the good stuff. First movement of the day hip thrusts. Incredible glute builder. You'd be surprised how much weight you can lift doing this. I mean, I can do upwards of 200 pounds, and that's nothing compared to what a lot of women can do with a hip thrust. Yes, incredible glute builder. Right here on your lap, we you use a pad just because it's a lot more comfortable if you're trying to go really high in weight. You want the box to be right in the middle of your upper back, okay? Use your elbows to come up and use your hips, nice and tight core, to bring it up as well. Chin stays tucked down. Even if it gives you a little bit of a double chin, it's not about being cute, it's about being efficient and safe, okay? Spine is neutral. We're never super hyper extended up here, that's dangerous, okay? Come down, squeeze the top, okay? All glutes and hamstrings, core stays tight, you breathe in, exhale the top. Okay? Yeah, press up. You gotta scoot your mid back down just a little bit more. Right there. Grab on the bar with your hands. The elbows are gonna come off. Right here, perfect. Big breath in and exhale to the top. Riding on the dizzying heights. Grip it however you are comfortable with. Um, I usually teach reverse grip like this, uh, just because when you are lifting heavy weight, it's a more secure grip. If you're more comfortable and just starting out with lifting and deadlifts, it's fine to do double overhand. Big breath in, core is braced, all glutes and hamstrings pulling, back stays straight. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror when you're pulling. Okay. 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 As the weight gets heavier, I would never recommend keeping your head up. But because this weight isn't super heavy, it's okay for you to look forward and it, it helps actually keep your back a little bit more straight. Bump. Nice and close to your chest, okay? Step out to the side, butt pushes back, okay? We're really activating those glutes and those hamstrings. Okay? Ten on each side, that ball stays up nice and high. Not hunching over, lower back is not activating. We're just pushing back. Notice how my knee does not cross over my toe, okay? Do ten on each side. Whoa! Oh my god, it's heavier. So Shrugging your shoulders, I'm closed off. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. I'm living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Woo. We're doing a lot of different types of movements today. Okay, we're doing pulling movements. Thrusting movements, lateral movements, because there's three different butt muscles, right? We want to hit them from every angle in a multitude of ways. So, next thing we're doing is the static hold lunge. Static because your feet are not going to be moving out of place. Hold because you're going to be holding it for a couple seconds here at the bottom. You're going to come into lunge. No weight for this round. Might add some weight on this round. Okay? Hold. Two. Three. Up. One. Two. Three. Up. Okay? Each one you're holding for three seconds at the base. Coming back up, okay? Time under tension. So they're all right, I, you and I, floating on air in my mind. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Living in the past, we're over that. 
I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying heights Big jump, come down. Okay, big jump. squat, come down. Yeah. Down. yeah. I want you to land low. If your quads are burning out, your legs are burning out, and you're in the squat and you just can't get it, come up, shake it out a little bit. We'll go right back into it. <laughs> <laughs> To your own life. Find your balance here. One, two, three. Toss it to me. Toss it back on this side. Two, three. Toss it back. Okay, we're doing ten. Three, one, one, two, three, two. Okay. Riding on the dizzying high. one, two, three minute rests between these exercises, we would definitely go up and wait. You could definitely handle more. Come on, friend. All right, let's get it. So you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Not living in the past. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Riding on the dizzying heights. Felt like nothing could stop. Sunsets, remember the colors, they were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside, it's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back, there's no going back to your own life I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights That's it? That was insane. Oh, my legs. That looks good, dude. Thanks, too. Good <laughs> try. Oh, Megan's back. <laughs> Yesterday, someone signed up who watches you, and then Friday, I don't know if she does, but she found me on Instagram. I don't know if it's like, sometimes they find me through you through Instagram, and sometimes it's YouTube. But yeah, now you've got three girls here, if not four. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I messaged my friend because I was like, oh my god, you look good. Like, I'm wearing just like more fit and stuff. I'm like, oh, you're looking good. And she was like, honestly, you're the one that inspired me. I was like, oh my god, yay. Like, stuff like that keeps motivating me to keep working out. Too. All right, guys, so that is it for, I guess, my booty workout. <laughs> we do heavy weights like this occasionally, but y'all have been asking how to grow a booty. How can you get bigger? But like we said, obviously, don't try this at home unless you have a trainer with you or you are Experience. experienced yeah. yep. with weights and stuff. I want to show you guys what I do or what I would do, you know, if I want to target my glutes, my booty, and my legs, and I can explain that and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave Megan's information down below if y'all live in the LA area. If you want to start training or want to get fit, definitely the best investment I've ever done with my life, honestly. I've been with Megan, what, five, six months now? Oh, five months, yeah. Yeah, which is really crazy. That's like the most consistent I've ever been like Since high school working out and stuff. I'm very proud of myself, honestly. Very proud of you too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you want to see any of the other kind of workout videos, let me know. 
I'm always down. I know Megan's always down. I want to do one with David. Honestly. Ooh, maybe that's the next one. Mm -hmm. I want to work out with my cameraman. I would love to see that. Ooh. My cameraman works out with my trainer. No, I want to. I want to actually have a real workout. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, okay. I would okay. like to see you do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get tired just watching. Never mind. I'm just kidding. Um, put mind. those push notifications on so when I. We're filming here! Put those push notifications on so when I upload, you all know exactly when I do. Do not forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!